because this, this will allow us to distribute the power to uh, different locations. So we can take our, our positive and our negative and connect them in here and then anything else that needs operational power can pull it, uh, 5 volt operational power can pull it from this um, uh, because when you connect a positive here and a negative here it powers all these little points, all these little connections. Uh, so, and then the, the difference on this board, of course, and we, we went over this in our breadboard talk, but uh, the difference on this board is that when you put power in, in one of these, it powers the row, and it only powers this row. It doesn't power this row. Here are these uh, strips of, of um, these little clips, and so they conduct the power all the way across. So we're going to trim down our power strip, our, which is part of the breadboard. We're going to cut it, uh, I think, right here, so that we can fit it in front of the Arduino. Um, and connect it to uh, the surface here. Now as you cut through it you're going to want to hold it on the bottom because these there's metal clips on the inside and as you're pushing down with a hacksaw they'll pop out and you want to make sure you can cut straight through those. Okay so now we're ready to, to just file this off, clean up the edges a little bit here. And we're just using a standard uh, file for that. All right, so now we have our piece. It's got three sections in it, and that's going to distribute our power. Let's see how it fits. Well, space is at a premium here. Now that we've trimmed down our uh, piece of our breadboard, we're going to uh, take the double stick tape off the back of it and stick it down. And uh, we, we've double checked that our Arduino will fit over top of it okay. So. Let's go ahead and put our put this in place, and we still want to make sure that it's uh, that we have enough space before we press it in all the way to uh, both mount our Arduino and also to yeah, we want to scoot that out just a little bit. Whew. All right, so we've got our power distribution here, and this is for 5 volts. And so we're going to take our 5 volt power from here, uh, and we're going to need to uh, be careful how we route this. I think we're going to go underneath all these other wires here so that we can get the power over to where we want it. All right. All right, so we got two cut, and um, now I'm going to just take the wire stripper here, and we'll take off about a little less than a quarter of an inch of insulation. Okay, there we go. And so we'll run our wire into its place where it goes to uh, provide the power. And we can use our screwdriver to push it down in into place. There we go. And we'll do the same with our positive wire. Okay. And that looks about right. So yeah, that's pretty good. Are we still clear? Looks like we are. Okay. So now we can run power, we can run connections like this, which is for our um, camera over to the power here, and we'll have the camera will have power uh, ready. Um, so when we send the command to turn it on, there'll be power that the camera can pull from, like it would from its from its batteries. And again, we, we don't need a whole lot. We have a lot more wire than we need, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. We can always, always better to have too much wire than too little. There we go. All right. Okay, and this is the uh, positive wire from the battery. And I think what we're going to do for this is we'll try and snake it underneath everything just to get it out of the way. It looks like it might be the most efficient way to get it back there. So 
It's a bit like threading a needle, but... Okay, so now we have power run to our camera, which is 5 volts, um, and that power can be accessed when we turn our camera on.